Today, I'd like to invite you into the most underrated tourist destination of all time, Darndale. Darndale is Dublin Corporation's science experiment. Visit Darndale and come stay in one of the low rise council villas. When looking down at Darndale from a hot air balloon, you may notice its block like structure. This man made labyrinth was designed to give the area a stronger sense of community, but it just made the residents feel like they could never leave. Take a brisk walk along the rustic courtyards to begin with a chance to win the once in a lifetime experience of a stop and search by an aggressive Mullingar Garda. If you get lucky, you'll get to experience the brutal force of the Mullingar. No law breaking required. All you have to do is be walking through Darndale and be alive. Darndale has the cutest sounding housing estates in Dublin. Primrose Grove, Tulip Court, Snowdrop Walk, Buttercup and Marigold. Darndale is a place of rituals, customs, custom reg plates and hot wheels, which are just wheels that got burnt out in a field somewhere in Belcamp. Experience the exhilarating freedom of rallying a dirt bike around Darndale Park. All you have to do is walk up to one of the local youths, more commonly known as the Nippas, and point at their quad bike saying, Gives a shot. The guards love playing a game where they spot lads with quad bikes and stick their hands in their pockets to see how many hypothetical 25 bags they can find. In Darndale, SOS stands for Caesar Scramblers. Marigold is actually made entirely out of butter. This is why the locals can't stop licking the walls. Buttercup Avenue was meant to be a movie set for the new Cinderella film, but when they were shooting the opening scene, the kids in Buttercup kept shouting, "Yup, Cinderella! So the movie got made in Kulak instead. Darndale have their own secret religion. It's known as Nikeism. They practice their religious ceremonies by placing a lovely pair of new sneakers on a wire dangling above the community. The gods of Nike have bestowed great blessings upon the Darndale natives which is why everyone here sleeps in their tracksuits. When visiting Darndale, be sure to ride on the back of one of these magical horses. The horses of Darndale are majestic, intelligent creatures that often speak to each other when no one's listening, but all they usually say is, "Ah, oh, stop bro. <laughs> if this isn't enough to entice you into Darndale, come see the local tourist attraction, the Darndale Roundabout. It's circular, and you can experience firsthand how it feels to go around in a never-ending circle listening to empty promises from the government. If you're looking to wet your whistle, make sure to pay a visit to the Beller, Darndale's favourite boozer, with friendly staff and some of the nicest food in Darndale. After copious amounts of Stella, you too will feel the windy freedom that breezes down the back of the wild horses that roam free through Sugar Drop Walk. The Beller is a mystical void, if you go there on Saturday night and stare at an empty bar stool for long enough, you'll begin to see locals who were barred the night before magically respawn in the sea. Last but not least, get your money ready, because Darndale has the biggest airport on the north side. It's called Big Tesco. No planes come in and out of here, but they do have a really slow escalator and lots of opportunities to get lost and overwhelmed, and that's pretty much the same thing. Darndale. A once in a lifetime trip you might not survive. Pack your bags and take a chance in Costa del Darndale. Namaste.